Hi guys, this is Jess. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, for those of you who are interested in a personal reading, uh, and if you would like to look ahead at all of February's future prediction reading, do check out the links in the description box below. Today, we're going to look at all signs. He said, she said, without further ado, let's get into uh, the first sign. And of course, we're going to be focusing on Aries and we're looking at what she says. Well, she's been working, focusing on work um, here. And this, this, she said, could be applied to Aries men. He said could be applied to Aries women. OK, um, you take it however it resonates for you, though. Um, but this woman is working. She hates when the two of you fight. She doesn't like the fighting and the fallout and the, jar the drama. Um, and she misses you. So she wants to spend some time with this man. She really does miss him. She's willing to put her sword down, um, put all the weapons down. She's waving a white flag. She wants no problems with this man. She kind of just wants to love him. And she wants him to kind of get his act together and try to figure out what, what does he want? She wants you to know um, that she wants you, but she wants only you. Okay. Her next moves will be wanting something real, but probably not knowing how to get it from him. So remaining quiet on that front of not necessarily either not wanting to rock the boat. This woman doesn't want to rock the boat. Um, so she may just leave it where it is and try to start anew. Um, she's trying to keep the peace. If the two of you are not together, then this woman is taking a step back. She's taking a break. She's taking a step back. And again, she wants to work things out, but not so sure how exactly to do that. So she'll just be kind of wondering and missing you on the sidelines, Aries men. Let's look at, he says, how this man feels about Aries women. He feels like there's a lot of. There has been a lot of confrontation to some extent. He thinks about you a lot. Can't stop thinking about you um, here. He thinks about you a lot. Can't stop thinking about you. He wants to start over. He wants to apologize. He wants to work on things and get things back on track. But he also may feel to some extent he doesn't really know you. He doesn't really know who he's dealing with. Or if what he wants, will it happen? Can he make it happen? Can he have what it is that he wants? There even may be some issues with family. Um, again, the two of you may not be communicating. But I get someone here. This man is wanting this woman to understand that he's trying, he's communicating, he needs her to respond. He can't do it alone. He knows that he loves her, he misses her loves, and he wants more of her love. He's a man that can invest and is willing to invest with the right partner, the partner that he's been waiting around for for quite a long time. He's been waiting for someone. Um, he wants to make things right with this woman. There can be other people as well, uh, but at this time, this man is only focusing on one and he's having a hard time getting over the fact that either he's hurt her or she's been separated and apart from him. So Aries single lady or Aries ladies, excuse me, Aries single ladies, he's saying he misses you. He wants to see you. He wants to spend time. If he has hurt you and disappointed you, he is acknowledging that he's aware of it. And he's he's hurt that you're hurt only because you're hurt. Whether you found something out, obviously something has happened and it could have something to do with outside people. I keep getting, getting outside people and that being kind of a problem. And this man kind of not knowing what to do about all of it, but he's also very much acknowledging um, either his part in it or the hurt and pain that you're going through right now. It could just be disappointment, not so much hurt and pain. For some of you who may have recently started dating someone and he's very hot and cold this man is definitely coming out of a past relationship and still very much is has those responsibilities and attachments there um he's not lying if you're saying well i haven't heard from him that sort of thing he just has things that he needs to sort out and he may not be so open to share so you will probably have to be a little bit more patient with this man um if you are, like I said, if you met someone new, you're probably, if, if any of you have met a new person, right, um, and you're noticing that there's some highs and lows, you'd be better off just kind of remaining single, meaning take on that, that m mindset that you're single. Um, let the chips fall where they may. 
Okay. Um, and if it works out, it works out. Just enjoy it for what it is because it looks like you're definitely going to have a good time with this new person. Uh, Aries here. Uh, and like I said, if this is a, a comeback around and the two of you are trying to work things out, definitely is going to be a, some hot, steamy days and nights together. So I have for Aries. Now let's look at Taurus. Okay. So Taurus, Taurus, um, women, he is saying, This man is thinking about marrying you. He is hard. It's not the easiest thing simply because this man, um, he is a loner. So if any of you are dealing, dealing with someone who could be a bit of a loning, a loner, um, it gets difficult for him. He also may struggle with social <laughs> interaction. Like this person may really be a severe loner to some extent. So it's trying to kind of get out of his own comfort zone with the idea of sharing his world with another person, that sort of thing. If there has been a disconnect, this man is thinking about you. He is kicking himself for um, mucking up the relationship, but he would not tell anyone. He wouldn't let anyone know he just walks around being cranky because um things aren't the way he would like it to be it's challenged with you you being receptive to him as he comes and goes you know he knows that he can't keep coming and going and doing whatever he wants to do like you want more um you're the type of woman with a caliber and an expectation but he also is who he is who he is so <laughs> this and this may be the two of you are apart from one another so he wants you to also know and he's saying that um he kind of has to come and go as he needs to i guess the two of you could be apart from each other and that's the type of person that he is so it's almost like a power struggles is what it's looking like to me what is she saying taurus single taurus men well she's hurt but she doesn't want any more drama. She wants no more drama, even though she's pissed and probably could like <laughs> she's pissed and probably could give you a what for, if you know what I mean. But she may think that it's all better to walk away. This is, could be a woman that has found out that you there was another. You weren't completely on, uh, single. Um and so she's walking away. This woman, she wants you to return. Yes, she wants you to come back and make things right. She know it could be slow and steady if you do return. And to some extent, this woman is willing to wait. She's probably, if she waits for too long, she's going to make a move. She's going to reach out. This is someone who could be thinking about you men at work. This also could be the person that you're thinking about at work, especially if it's somebody that you haven't seen in quite some time. This could be a woman that hasn't, that um, you're, you're also thinking about. This is another per a woman who is not so sure if it makes sense to give this another chance and makes sense to keep working on this because there has been a lot of drama. There has been a lot of drama and the two, the two of you can run quite hot and cold and it can take a while before one of you get up and do something about things while the other person is kind of seething and pissed about, you know, the situation. Um, so it could be also mismanaged, mi mi mis mixed matched is what i want to say sorry mix matched um as far as maturity wisdom understanding and need um one one of you may need more than what the other person is willing to give um, and they may not need what you're requiring so there's some things going on there this is going to be a situation where it has to get people are going to have to really put up or shut up uh because hold on he, okay if this woman tries to walk away this man isn't going to let it happen that easily he'll be coming back at her back toward her wanting to make things right so whoever the woman is um he's not going to let you go he's not going to let you go that easily and there's always an opportunity to mend fences and get back on track simply because this man will um, I'm not going to say always, but from the, what the cards are looking like now, he certainly um, will fight for this at this time. That's what I have for Taurus. Now let's look at Gemini. Okay. Okay. So Gemini, we're going to start with she said um, she loves you. She wants to be in a relationship with you, be married to you, spend yeah, a long time, maybe the rest of her life with you. Waiting on you. 
She wants you to come over to her. She's been daydreaming about you, thinking about you. Can't stop thinking about you. Not so sure. If he, she's not so sure if you'll communicate with her and if you will tell her the truth. You'll tell her what she's asking, what she needs to know. Okay. This woman is struggling, man. She's struggling um, because you may be getting like attention um, elsewhere. You could be missing in action and she's having a hard time not knowing if you'll turn back around, show back up again, ever come back in her life again. She acknowledges that there's been some drama, right? Drama between. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not even showing you the cards. I'm just sitting here talking like I'm doing a personal reading. She acknowledges that um, there's been some drama between the two of you. There's been some drama. Um, she's. Either try to get down to the bottom of it, even going as far as stalking you. Yes, man. This woman's been stalking you. She's been looking into what's going on with you. Um, and she's kind of thinking the worst. So she's thinking all the worst of the worst of the worst things, you know, um, that you're out there doing whatever you want to do and all of that stuff. So this woman is kind of having a hard time. And she wants you to know that she's still waiting around, but she doesn't know how much longer she can wait around. And she just basically wants you to come back. She wants you to come back. She wants you back in her life. And she wants there to be reciprocity. And, and you know, to either start to form a happy home or get to a place where the two of you are happier. You know, less the drama. Okay, so he said, what is he saying to Gemini ladies? He's hurt. Acknowledging hurt. Shit, he's pissed. And it's going to take him some time to get back on track, um, ladies. He's taking his time. He's taking his time. Um, he's taking his time. There even may have been drama like a fight, fallout, um, harsh words, exchange, that sort of thing. And so for him now to turn back around, right, and get back on track um, is going to take some time. There's still definitely love between the two of you. So I wouldn't be surprised, um, ladies, if you guys have an opportunity to communicate face to face, that sort of thing. He's thinking things through. He's been thinking things through. And let me tell you one thing. When he gets to a point of really sharing with you his thoughts and his feelings, this is a, a man who's taken time to really ascertain and assess the situation. He's just not half-assed. He's not half-stepping. He's just really assess ascertaining and assessing what the hell is going on him here. And he's coming to a very mature understanding about the situation. The big, you know, he he has a hard time either being controlled. He has a hard time with too much holding back. He likes to control th things. Um, this man is also going through it behind the scenes. He may be the type of person that expresses his frustration um, and his hurt and pain through anger and frustration instead of being vulnerable so he's having a hard time kind of stripping himself down and really telling you what's going on not that i'm angry i'm hurt you know he's hurt but it could show that he's more angry than he is hurt but he really is hurt okay you know if something isn't done about this, someone is going to find themselves in a bad way, mentally battered and bu bruised and with um, bags, you know, um, what do they call them? Bags and stuff. <laughs> Not bags. Um, can't think of the word, um, but <sighs> hold on baggage that's the word you could be bringing you know developing um traumas where now you have a lot of baggage so be careful with that um gemma you know we're doing gemma be careful with that for one of you because that could be the case where someone isn't necessarily it's going to take a lot to get to a place where you're better again and for some of you you may thank uh, this experience because it has made you um, stronger than Teflon. Like you'll really be strong mentally and spiritually after having gone through um, probably this and other things. So uh, that sounds very dramatic. <laughs> Somebody is struggling. I do see some struggle going on here with the lack of being able to reach the other person. That's what I have for Gemini's. Now let's get cancer. 
Cancer. Okay, so cancers. What does she want to tell you, cancer men? Are you happier without her now? Are you happy that she's no longer in your life? For some of you, this woman had to walk away from a toxic situation that she no longer was happy with. And she just wants happiness in her life. She's been waiting for a long time for a real relationship, for someone that she can call her own. Um, and she's very conflicted with this relationship. She may feel to some extent she's being love bombed. Sorry, guys, I keep taking breaks because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm shuffling cards. Um, she may feel like she's been love bombed and that you're you're kind of owing her. If you haven't done her wrong and now you owe her, you better pay up and do me right and all of those things. Then she may feel like she's deserving of something real, something right um, by the next person, which I'm assuming is you. And she definitely has a lot of baggage from the past. She acknowledges that, but she still expects to be treated better than what she's come through. So you probably will have to be patient if you're just now meeting this woman or getting to know her. Things will get better between the two of you. Um, and you guys will be working on more communication, spending more time with one another, working, um, but still trying to make time for one another is what it looks like to me. Okay. Uh, but you, some of you men could be dealing with someone who has a bit of, I want to say low self-esteem. hate saying that, but she may struggle with confidence, self-esteem, and it could have a lot to do with her past. Uh, so he says, what is he saying to cancer women? He may feel guarded on guard with you, but he's been kind of like waiting around to see if things were go are going to change and get better and improve because he truly believes that it will. He wants that with you. He wants forever with you. And if he has forever with you, then this is someone who just wants things to get back on track if it's out of out of whack. Money is a challenge. The two of you get on the same page. Staying on the same page is a challenge. Deciding to come together and be right with each other. Healthiness is a challenge. You guys can't seem to be healthy, be stable to, together. This may be one of those really challenging things where it's just hard to, to come together, build something because there's all these breakups, distrust, hurt, either from each other or the past. So that's the problem, uh, cancer ladies. This man is acknowledging, okay? You are someone that he feels um, either has changed his world in some kind of way. Uh, he's not the same having met you. You could be someone who can play hot and cold, ladies. Uh, one minute you're in it, next minute you're not. One minute you're here, next minute you're gone. Next minute <laughs> you're in a good mood, you're in a not so good mood. So there is a, he acknowledges that there's highs and lows. He feels like just at times things can be toxic between the two of you. You know, honestly, this could be someone here who this man, at least, and I'm picking up. It's just what I pick up, guys. So every time I make have these readings, it's not going to be for the same group of people. It's not going to be for your same ex or your same current person. It could be an ex that shows up, a current person. It could be who, who knows, someone that hasn't even shown up in your life yet. Uh, so do keep that in mind um, when these readings are out. I'm pretty sure you guys know that, but I just want to make it clear for anyone who is new and unfamiliar. This, could, this is giving me a man who um, may feel like the best thing he could have done was leave this or he needs to leave this. He may even be feeling like that in the future, like he needs to leave this for his own betterment, for the best thing for him. But he'll always, if this man leaves you cancer ladies, he'll always look back and think, what if coulda, woulda, shoulda. He will have regrets, most definitely. And it seems like you'll be with someone almost immediately after if you so choose. I feel like it has potential um, in the future for those of you who are in this relationship, even and, and one of you could become pregnant. I do see a pregnancy. I do. But there can be issues with um, being really clear about the direction of the relationship. That's what I see being a, a, the most challenging thing. So I have cancers. Now let's look at Leo. OK, Leo ladies. Well, Leo's. What does he want to tell you, Leo ladies? One, that he wants to work on the situation 
And he also wants you to understand that if you're questioning his honesty there he feels like there's nothing to question you don't have to question him you don't have to doubt his honesty um he's working he wants to build this this is someone okay hold on guys this is a man Okay, so this is a man who tr works a lot. He works a lot or when he's focused, he's really super duper focused. Uh, he is someone who, if this is a new relationship, ladies, he's getting over the past. Um, but he is someone who just holds it deep down inside and he kind of like pushes through and works past the pain, past or whatever. So this isn't someone who is trying to be one foot in, one foot out. No, he really is trying to push that energy out and overcome his past so that he can be fully available. So you probably would be wiser to be patient with this type of man um, for Leos, <laughs> for Leo ladies. You'd probably be better off... Um, being patient with him if this is something long term longer term it's not brand fresh and spanking new this definitely speaks to a man who works a lot he may be a man's man like he has to do what he has to do what he has to do he can, may not be the most emotional person and that's what he is trying to tell her he, i'm not the most emotional guy i'm a very hard working guy um i keep a lot of things in but that's because i'm really emotionally mature and i know how to work through my feelings on my own um i want to know what's going on with you you need to let me know and communicate with me what's going on with you you know you could be quite stressful to this man or you stress too much you you worry him you stress him out or you stress a little too much and there's a lot of communication about st stress anxiety worry that type of thing I don't know how much communication but he could be acknowledging that there's communication and whatever the communication is it stresses him or you could be you sharing your stresses with him loves the fact that you make him feel like a man you know you you kind of give him grace or a sense of authority that def definitely um strengthens his manhood um and this man has either either he wants to be your husband he wants something long term um or he is that for you and if you are new to the relationship with him he may already have is taken on this energy right but again i said he's getting out of that he can be that for you men i mean ladies excuse me leo ladies leo ladies he wants this to go somewhere and like i said if this has been kind of a long-term thing this person isn't just gonna up and leave this even though even if you, the two of you are having real bad struggles no matter what he doesn't seem like he's going anywhere and like i said if this is something new then this is someone who is working on some things on his own again like i said he is a very um strong independent person uh but he's not going anywhere either okay what is she saying to leo men she's in it for the long haul she's in it for the long haul for some of you this is a very successful woman who has longevity um, it has a lot to offer if this is new but this is a woman that is in for the long haul okay This is okay. If you if there has been any issues with um, relocating or making some changes to make the relationship work, uh, but it's going to take time. She wants she's ready for this to start happening. She wants you to hurry up. She's tired of waiting. She's tired of waiting. She's tired of hearing whatever you're telling her. She wants you. She wants things to start happening. Things to start manifesting. <laughs> she's tired of waiting, whatever that means. Um,
This is okay. So this is a woman, and I guess for for some of you, you guys may be separated, not in a relationship, no longer in a relationship uh, with this woman. So she, if that's the case, she may find that you're a bit of a manipulator. The two, if the two of you have responsibilities, let's say like a child, um, it may be really difficult for you to make yourself available, and she's pretty pissed about that. This is like a whole other sidebar. But this woman is kind of tired of, like I said, what she perceives as lies or making up things or just throwing things out there just to get her to you know stay away or be quiet or calm down that sort of thing and she's not having it she's kind of mourning now even if she has mourned in the past she's mourning still she's still mourning this woman because it looks like the two of you are over or soon will be headed to court that sort of thing um, so if that is the case, this woman, she still doesn't want it to be over. If the two of you have had a divorce, separation, that sort of thing, she still cries herself. There are still times where she struggles with the reality of the situation. And she's come a long way. You see, I'm saying how the readings could come. Anyone can could come into a reading. She's come a long way. This woman has come a long, long way. Um, and she's going to move forward with the d divorce separation or the breakup, that sort of thing. And she's not happy about it. For some of you, you'll know this. Um, some of you Leo men, you'll know this because if you share anything with this woman, it's difficult for her to um, to partner peacefully. So in any partnership that you've got to, you know, work with her with, whether it be children, business, whatever that is, um, it's difficult. She may lash out. The two of you may be at odds and there could be a lot of arguing and that sort of thing. And that's what I'm talking about. This person is really struggling behind the scenes because, again, this whole process has been quite devastating to her. And she's pretty pissed if you, you're not making yourself available as you need to be. That's what I have for Leo's. Oof. Now let's go to Virgo. Okay, Virgos, we're going to start with he said to Virgo ladies, he misses you, basically, he misses you. I don't care if this man has moved on to, um, I don't care if this man is married and everything, he misses you. He's trying to make things happen in his life. So he's been getting rid of toxic toxic behaviors and really focusing on what's going to bring him ultimate success and um, stability in his life. He's always focusing on growth and what's the next thing. And right now, life could be really busy in his practical areas of life. So he's truly uh, busy and working really hard. This man doesn't have anyone. He, does, he looks to be single if he's not already taken. If this is someone that you're seeing, he will start focusing on work, especially if he's not getting the attention that he wants from you. This man may need sexual healing. He's not getting that either. So he is focusing on other things like money-making ventures, that sort of thing big biggest challenge is that it's hard to communicate with you for some of you you could be someone who likes to consort with family friends other people instead of communicating with him um, to, to talk about either coming back to the house getting back together working things back or out getting back on track it, it's a challenge uh, communicating with you it's also maybe a challenge to track you down trying to figure out where the hell are you where the hell is Virgo women at where is she like he can't even find you you just may be up and disappear It's also been dif difficult that he acknowledges that it's been hard to get in a peaceful place together. It's kind of like the Leo reading I just read. If the two of you are broken up, um, he does not necessarily want this back again. He, he wants all the best for you, wants all the best for you. But this man is very aware that this is a broken place. The two of you will find yourself right back in that broken place if the two of you were to come back together again. So he's acknowledging that. So why are you showing up? I mean, hello. <laughs> but he still loves you. That's why he's showing up. He still loves you. He just wants some time. He wants some time. He wants the dust to settle. He wants the dust to settle. Whether it be he needs time to get his act together, because I told you he's working a lot. He gets his act together or for him to come to a better, deeper understanding and not see it as just a bunch of toxicity that the two of you can work out. Um, or if he needs to move on. But whatever conclusion that he needs to come to, he feels he needs time, basically. Basically. 
And like I said, if the two of you have children, if if you have children, there's a family dynamic between the two of you. You'll have that. You'll always have that. But I do see even if if the two of you were to come back together, there can be some in and out. One person can be kind of like an in and out type of a person. Let's look at she says Virgo men. She's waiting on you while you're working, either while you're working, she's been waiting while you've been working she's been waiting she's waiting to work on this to grow it to build it um, to develop the relationship she's the, either this is a woman who has a lot of pride so it's hard for her to express her feelings because she will get emotional um she's not so sure what all to say about the situation if it's even necessary to say anything at this time anymore so this woman is kind of in her head about things she may have had several cries that sort of thing um You know, this woman has been in a conflict with herself for a very long time of where would she like this to go between the two of you? Well, um, it looks like it's not really up to her. It doesn't seem like it's so much up to her where she would like it to go. She would like it to be a whole lot better. So before she can get to the place of where it could go, there's repair that has to happen. You guys have to fix some shit. You got to clean it up. And she knows that. And she's actually been waiting, believe it or not. She's waiting for a long time. She's been at a crossroads. It's been very hard for her to get on the other side of what has happened. And she may acknowledge, she may look at you and think, oh, well, he's fine. He's always okay. He never has a problem. I'm over here, goddamn it, struggling one minute at a time. Um, but she may look at you men and think that you're just okay. And I'm going to tell you, she could be headed to a place um, where, again, she gets back into that rabbit hole. Where she can't get you off of her mind. And if you find yourself thinking about her more than usual or thinking about her at all, um, it's like, why am I thinking about her? Because she's thinking about you so much. Everybody is getting this fucking card. People kind of, everybody is saying, yeah, I want this. I would like to get in a better place with the situation. I would like, you know, for things to get back on track. But it's a lot of drama and it's too, and it's outside peoples that have opinions. So although she may want it, um, that could be a lot of drama. Now, for some of you, this is a woman where there's children involved and it's about child support and um, th that kind of drama that comes out of, you know, no longer being together, but having to still deal with each other. There's that. Um, so she may just say, I want my money and get out of my face. <laughs> Seeing that, too. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, so now I think I did both of them. Virgo ladies and Virgo men. Um, somebody is definitely pregnant and someone or had a baby and someone is not so pleased by the parenting arrangement or someone's lack of um, responsibility. I do see that as well. But this relation, this doesn't even seem like a relationship. It just seems like th these are people showing up that really miss um, the sign and they want to tell them something. So that seems to be what this reading is going to be about because a lot of exes is kind of coming through like a ghost. That's what I heard her goes. Now it's like a Libra. Okay, so this is we're doing Libra. Hey, Libra. And we're going to start with he said. So what does he wants to tell Libra ladies? Well, what else is new, Libra? What else is new? He loves you. He loves you even though you cut him out. Even though the two of you may have been married, lived together, that sort of thing. Um, and he still loves you. He loves you. And he feels like you still love him. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Of course. Well, he's watching you. He's stalking you. He wants to see what the fuck is going on. He's very hopeful that he can get you back. And I'm telling all signs. Pretty much the exes are coming back. This might as well be the ex. <laughs> but it is he said, she said. And he's saying that he wants to get you back. He know he sees you. He watches every move you make damn near. He damn near watches every move that he, you make if he can watch you. He knows when you're going out with your girlfriends. He knows, you know, he knows how good you're looking alone and single these days. Um, and in his mind, he's extremely hopeful um and almost seemed like he'll go to whatever extreme he needs to to try to get you back it's pretty interesting i knew this was going to happen when i started doing libra reading <laughs> the challenge is getting you back <laughs> i was like this is gonna be a straightforward reading 
the challenge is getting you back you know and making you realize that you don't have to cry anymore you don't have to hurt anymore because he won't do it again right those days are over i didn't even know the death card was behind those days are over and he wants you to come to him come my way because i love you you still love me we love each other i want to see you spend some time with you where does he want this to go i mean you guys could do your reading yourself you see what this is he wants forever he wants to invest he wants forever just a couple he wants you to come back to him if you're his husband i mean i'm sorry if you're his wife he wants his wife back he wants to go back to his wife um so yeah he'll do whatever it takes but that's a libra reading for you so what else <laughs> okay um she said what is she saying to libra men She's been taking a break ever since all the drama has gone on. Or well, she doesn't want any more drama. She's been taking a break. She's still at a crossroads. And so she'll find herself focusing more on work and career and what matters to her. And um, probably reconciling her finances, getting her finances in order, waiting for you to communicate. Yeah, she wants to hear back from you. She's not so sure she will, but you are her happiness. And she tends to reminisce about you quite often, guys. I apologize. I'm pulling cards. So you're not going to see all the cards. Uh, but she she, remin she reminisces about you quite often. And she, uh, part of her gets tired of waiting. But then she'll start thinking about, you know, all the times you've shared and how happy she was with you and all those things. And then she'll find herself right there waiting again, reminiscing, thinking quite a bit she wants the relationship but she's at the same time <laughs> this is not funny this is someone who wants to start either she wants to start a new period away from you but she can't definitely get away from you men she's having a really hard time and she wants to begin again but she's at also she's a little bit apprehensive there's a part of her that doesn't even really trust you so it's like i still want you i still love you but i don't really trust you um but it's kind of weighing on me that we're not together, that sort of thing. So it looks like to me. But she wants you back. She would like to have you back. It's just she would need to get over her fears and all of and over her trauma um, to have it in a healthy sort of way. And I hope that this woman is not resorting to drinking and that sort of thing. Um, but she may find herself indulging a little too much um, trying to get over. This is all about exes. I don't really see this going anywhere. I don't see it going anywhere. Like I said, if they're, if this person, if the, two, and everyone is kind of, you get a lot of people who are a little bit pissed because they're paying child support. Now they're going to do um, divorce, alimony, child support. And so that's where there looks to be a lot of problems in relationships. So for some of you, it could be the same thing, right? She messaged you and everything like that. But the two of you still have to kind of work out. Uh, what's owed to her something like that or she just may feel like you owe her you know no kids involved no nothing but you just owe her like you owe her to be better to her you owe her to love her more that sort of thing um here so unfortunately um she's struggling because of you libra men <laughs> that's what i have for libras now let's look at scorpio okay so scorpio men we're gonna look at you she's saying what does she want to tell you um what the heck hold on y'all she she got a lot to say this okay <laughs> where do we go from here <laughs> well it seems like you guys went from sugar to shit real quick um she doesn't want <laughs> this is a situation where it's really messy and there's a lot of drama and there's a lot of hurt feelings. Um, so he feels like the two of you were great. You were good at one point. He could see marriage or the two of you were in that series of a commitment. Had to walk away. Um, I'm sorry, this is for Scorpio men. So this woman feels like the two of you were really good at one point. A relationship, a, com a full-on commitment or wanted it that, that to be that. But there was some self-sabotaging going on here. Her feelings, back backstabbing, that sort of thing. And it's still really hard to get over that hurt and disappointment. Whether you caused it, men, um, 
or it was caused before you got there. But I feel if it it was caused before you got there, you should run because this is a woman who um, has a lot of baggage and it may be a little too much for you to bear. But if it's something that you cause, it's going to it's really difficult for this woman to get over it. Hell, it looks like it's difficult for you to get over it, man. So something where the two of you seem to constantly fight, constantly be at odds with one another. And it doesn't take much for the two of you um, to kind of go off on one another is what it looks like. Like, shit, what is going on here? It, it's getting real um, action packed is what it looks like to me. challenge she is letting this shit go and be done with it maybe because there's constant drama and still having to deal with each other to some extent so she kind of wants this to be over and be done with it and no more drama but it seems like the, it continues to be things will be changing in six months to a year's time maybe that's when the, the dust can finally finally settle she wants a relationship <laughs> I don't even know if this woman is someone who wants the relationship back. She may feel like there's a need to communicate, talk, come face to face. But it's so much freaking drama here. It's so much like uh, drama, resentment, anger that it's hard to get either a Scorpio man to understand, get him to see it her way, for him to acknowledge what's going on here and be at peace. Uh, because one of these people just continues to bring a lot of drama and a lot of fighting and a lot of bullshit is what it looks like to me. There's a lot of bullshit going on here. And so it makes it really difficult to even be able to come back together again. Okay. Um, okay. So what does he want to tell Scorpio women? He's walked away. He's walking away or he's walked away. Um, either preparing. He's had to make a hard decision. It's not the easiest one, but he had to make. It was the best thing for him or it was made for him. If the two of you ladies, if you're going through a divorce separation, I'm seeing a lot of divorce separation, breaking up, um, deal breakers, um, a final decisions. That's all I'm seeing with a lot of these relationships. So Scorpio ladies, if, if any of you are in a relationship with someone um, and you're getting a divorce separation, that sort of thing, there's children, kids involved, anything where there still needs to be some separating of assets, um, this person isn't going to be open. He's going to be a bit difficult. So, yeah. He's, I'm going to be difficult if, if there's anything for us to fight about. I'm still going to hold out. I'm going to hold back. Um, I'll come and go as I please. He may struggle with being honest with you, making up his mind, being mature and letting you know exactly what the truth is and how he truly feels about things. Um yeah, that's what he could be struggling with with you. And just overall communications can start to kind of get a little bit troubling. You know, I have to, this deck. Let me just say this. This is a very, you know, decks have different energy in this deck. This is a very dark deck. It's not a light deck. So it will pull the exes. It will pull people who is pissed. It will. This deck does that. This this is a very um, dark energy deck. I have to say that. So um, I should have said it at the beginning. <laughs> I'll probably put it down in the description box or some shit. But yeah, just take that with a grain. When I use this deck, this is this is not your, oh, everything is going to be pretty and everything's all right. This is like that true Scorpio. Let's unearth some bullshit. This is what this deck is about. So I just want to let you guys know. Um, so yeah, that being said, he... He, um, he doesn't know where the fuck he wants this to go. This is someone who, um, Scorpio ladies, he likes to be in control of things. He, he likes his ego stroked. He likes to be in control of a situation. He will be extremely difficult if things do not go his way. This is the type of man that would do a 180 on you he'll do a 180 he will you know he will love bomb you and give you you know the skin off his back not even a shirt the skin <laughs> but um if you cross him or you you know try to fight up against him then he will make an enemy um this guy is what it looks like to me and like to play um, a lot of mind games what it looks like to me
the two of you the thing is is that the two of you can stay together yeah you can you can stay together you can get back together you can work it out you can kind of be together it's for some of you ladies it will be at your detriment it's going to take time it's one of those it's pluto energy i don't know how else to say it. it's that pluto energy where it's like you'll look up one day and it's like i'm not even the same person anymore what the fuck happened to me like that um so it's one of those things it's kind of deep reading i don't even know who this relates to and since my comment section is off i can't even read the comments and see if somebody wants to say something but that's what i'm getting guys it's pretty interesting this read um but you can seriously lose yourself and only be left with a fraction of yourself keeping this going if you know um that you're dealing with someone who isn't the best the healthiest individual psychologically because i'm getting someone who's not the healthiest psychologically like something mind mind control some shit like that going on that's what i have for scorpio now let's look at sagittarius okay so sagittarius could this be the beginning of um an energy shift for you where it's shifting in the right direction <laughs> looks like you have well let me not speak too soon this woman so we're going to look at um sag men what does she want to tell you well she's saying that she loves you and she wants to give it Ooh, this is so nice she loves you she wants to give it a go she's willing to wait on you because you're worth the wait wow yeah she's waited a long time for a love for a love um so if this is a new person and you find her to be quite curious almost almost like a little kid uh, she asks you all these questions she wants to know everything she's really excited that's a confirmation that she's very smitten and excited by you this is, could be a woman who is like love at first sight that type of thing but if this has been going on for quite some time then this is a woman who honestly um cares deeply for you kind of wants to know where you where you going where you're at that sort of thing um and she's confused by um maybe it could be some family stuff that's going on that is a little confusing here um and where where the future is headed between the two of you the challenge is fighting the two of you can't seem to get along a lot of fighting a lot of backbiting no one is playing their role um can't seem to get on the right track um it just and this could have this goes on either so much or has gone on for so long that the two of you kind of don't know how to get the hell out of this dark cloud and back into a healthy environment where you know it looks good again between the two of you it feels good again between the two of you so this woman does question the future and if it can be something that's wholesome and real and long term she mourns um, the past either she mourns um, a past person that she had this with or could have had it with um, or she mourns you because that is what she wants she also feels like okay 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 hold on guys this woman finds you to be manipulating yeah she feels like you're manipulating she feels like you're a dishonest person in a hothead um who that this relationship either has ended or it's changing and it's ending it's changing the relationship is changing or has changed okay if you don't have any kids this woman can get pregnant so be careful and then she'll be your wife. She'll become your wife or the woman that you'll live with, that sort of thing. Um, so be careful if this if you're not 100 percent sure, men, you don't want to be a dad or you're not ready to be a parent. You don't want to take a risk because you haven't married or all the things. Be careful. She definitely can get pregnant. She still wants you and her to be married or she wants you to stay together. So if you're together, she doesn't want anything any she doesn't want this to leave or go especially judging by those first cards i would say yeah i would say that myself she doesn't want this to go she loves you like crazy um and if you're not like long term you're still trying to work your way and dating and that sort of thing this woman wants to marry you I t i'm trying to tell you it could have been love at first sight love at first something it was like boom it hit her whether she just knew like i'm gonna marry this man and trust me <laughs> us ladies we know we know too um i'm gonna marry this man or it'll be you know I just I'm so smitten it's that type of thing like she 
she really cares she really likes you straight away um so i'm actually gonna shuffle back again because sagittarius men took out all the good um <laughs> cards so it wouldn't be fair <laughs> all the good cards came out for sag men okay what does he want to tell Sagitt sagittarius ladies he wants you first of all he's pissed <laughs> He's a little pissed, agitated, aggravated. Maybe he had to go through quite a bit to get you. Um, but he wants you. He want to express his love. Now, this may be to this is a man that's coming out for you, Sagittarius ladies that are single. There's a man who wants you. He wants to, you know, either apologize, show you a little bit of attention. Not so sure about what he wants it to go long term. So, you know, there's no long term. He hasn't thought that far. Um, but this is a man that will start to stalk you, watch you, um, question you. See your progress. Where have you been? Who's been watching you? How far have you come in life? Where are you going next? That sort of thing. You do have a, a hold on him more than you know. See, you know someone misses you when the question is, does they do they miss do, do they miss this person? And you get the five of cups. That's when you know they miss you. This person misses you. This person, listen to me, okay? And I, I said I've been telling every sign because the exes <laughs> they came out today. They came out today. This is not the ex reading. This is he says she said. But goddamn it, the ex is like though no, we're we got something to say, okay? Every sign I've done so far, uh, most of the exes have come out with that, with the exception of, I think, one, I can't remember who, but um, most exes have come out and yours is no different. And I'm here to say for you specifically, um, whoever this past person is, he, he has not, ladies, he has never gotten you out of his mind. Now, I can't say he think about he's thought about you every day and all day long. I don't know about that, but I can tell you that this man, you, he has, you have not left his mind. He has had many days of missing you. I, I, yes, and crying. I'm going to say he was, he's was. he been crying. Because he loves you. Oh, I'm so glad I got this reading for you guys. It's so simple. <laughs> Just like Libra. Shit was like one, two, three. Too easy. Because um, he misses you and he loves you. And it may be the work person you love too. Or loved. Like you loved him. But maybe you've gone through, you know, your you've gotten out of it let me see um you have to cut him off or he had to cut somebody got okay obviously somebody got cut off <laughs> this is the person that you wish you could have married or been in something like real with so take that as you take that and do with it what you will um but i see you ladies kind of looking really good right now <laughs> focusing on yourself doing what you need to do probably attracting a lot of people that sort of thing this man can be a taurus he could be a water sign uh, or an air sign but as we know he could be any sign right so he could be any sign but i'm getting a man who is really um i'm struggling struggling i'm surprised i didn't get the nine of swords I don't see somebody. Okay, I'm not getting struggling. I'm getting someone who ha has his cry, who misses you, who reminisces about you, who dream daydream, excuse me, about you, but also may feel either you put your foot down or put him in his place so that he knows, don't you ever that type of thing. <laughs> so he's like, no, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna... Or um, he has he made a commitment to himself, something like that, where it was like a deal breaker, like it was like this is the final decision. This is it. So he could be holding back from that, but don't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Hold on. Okay, I'm not pulling any more cards. I'll say this. I cannot necessarily say that the two of you would be back together again. I feel like one of you, if one of you at least will always think about the other person. Always. Um, I feel like one of you think is 
someone thinks that the other person has already moved on in a relationship long term and they may know that too um but i do feel like the other person will always think of that person like they'll be 80 and they'll think about the times you know michael jackson remember time <laughs> remember that video was everything <laughs> anyway um no so that's what i have for sagittarius now we're gonna look at capricorn capricorn men she's for some of you this woman she's pregnant she wants to let you know that she's pregnant she had to cut you off and get clarity about the situation she's not put she's putting her foot down i guess mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah she still reminisces and thinks about you she loves you uh, she loves you like crazy and she's very hopeful to where the future can go if two of you have been at um a crossroads she want to work she wants to work this out um you work too much you cheap and you drag your ass that's that's the problem <laughs> You work too much, you're cheap, and you drag your ass, right? And secretly, you're the authority. For some of you, you're married. Mm -hmm. This could be the other woman coming up out of nowhere. That's what it looks like to me. Could be, could be. But if that's not the case and you know you're not married and that sort of thing, then she knows, you know, even in all of that, you're cheap. You're this, you're that. You still will make a great husband. <laughs> um. Yeah. You know, if you had to be if this had to be over, like you had to end things with with this um, woman, it took her a while to repair. It really did. She probably really needed some help along the way to get on the other side of this. Um, and if that is the case and this is a woman that is sh sharing her her, you know, I guess what she's gone through in life, right? I've loved this man. I still love this man. I've had to go through a lot to get on the other side of things with this man. But I'm better now. And if it's not now, then by July, she'll be a lot better um, than where she's at right now. Because it, it took a toll on her to get over this. If this is like, oh, yeah, that's my past person. If it's a new person or a person that you're in a relationship with, she doesn't like all this work. And she doesn't like all of this, you know, being apart from you and that sort of thing. But she wouldn't give you up. So let's see. What is he saying, Capricorn ladies? What does he want to tell Capricorn ladies? He's tired of the fucking and the fighting. He's tired of the fucking and the fighting. He's tired. Let me be fucking up. He, oh, I'm telling y'all, this man wants to love. He doesn't want to fucking fight anymore. And none of that's cute. May is may have been fun in the beginning, but it's not fun anymore. And he wants peace. He wants to love and be loved. He may even want a son if he doesn't have one. But he wants peace. He wants to love and be loved. He He's always been a lover. He's been a very loving and caring and sweet person. Um, probably all of his life. He is someone that can kind of get off the handle out of nowhere. But he may be acknowledging that that's what you do. You may have Tourette moments. One minute you're stable and everything's okay. Next minute you run in here. You jump in here. You're doing this. You're doing that. It's that type of thing. <laughs> it's not funny. He doesn't feel like he could trust you, ladies. Yeah. He doesn't feel like he could trust you. He's not so sure um, what you're up to when you're not around him. Yeah, he's not so sure. Mm -hmm. Also, if this is not you and if it's him and he thinks that he's slick, he really does think he's slick because it is. he's been getting away with it for however long he's been getting away with it. Yeah, he, he's, he's having a hard time trusting you ladies. And he's been kind of waiting to see if things will fix itself or get better. And uh, mm -hmm. this, this is the type of man that could cut out of nowhere and say, well, I need a break. I'm just going to take a break. And the two of you may take a break. And he'll need it. He needs to get in a better headspace. Okay. Um, Things will get better, so give it a chance. It's almost like it's like the two of you. Oh shoot! <laughs> Hold on, guys. Yeah. 
Okay, this is this definitely can get better. It can get back on track. This man is still definitely going to have some issues with what has all gone on. It's almost like he's he's just not the same anymore. However, he was loving you in the very beginning. Whatever all has happened has changed him to some extent. Whether he's told you that, if you've paid attention, maybe you acknowledged it. Uh, but there's still love there, and there's still going to be this new refreshed energy that comes with to the two of you that you can start again so you can start again new and fresh because both of you will be bringing that new and fresh energy but i have to tell you i get the man it can be the woman it can be outside people but i get a little drama still in the air like it's still tension it's still this thinking of like any of this shit worth it Where, what is where's it gonna go it's that type of thing what someone is saying privately behind the scenes to themselves so i have a capricorn now let's look at aquarius Okay, Aquarius. So now we're going to focus on Aquarius men. What does she want to tell you? Well, she's missed you <laughs> since you've been gone. She wants to bridge the gap from the drama. There has been drama, um, confrontation, um, conflict. She wants to bridge the gap, but she's not. But even though she wants to, she also wants you, your, you to be honest. She wants you to take accountability. Um, she wants you to admit some things. I don't know what that means. Um, but she wants you to admit some things. You hold back too much. Um, you, she feels like you can hold back too much. At times, you could be a bit petty. Um, you may burn bridges, burn, burn bridges b between the two of you and kind of don't care. You're very confrontational to a point of punishment. Like, you know, she'll have to pay for it, even if it's your fault, men. And she may feel like you're egotistical. It's all about you. This woman is not so sure if she wants a new beginning with you because she may acknowledge that there's a lot of other women. You're not she's not the only one. So why would she do that to herself? She wants you to love her. That's all. She wants you to love her and leave outside people. Um, let the outside people go and love her and focus on her only. That's what she wants. Mm -hmm. Especially if you tell if you're telling her you love her. Then she wants you to prove it. That's what I see. Uh, he said, Aquarius women. What does he want to tell you? He, either he comes from a broken home, a broken family. He comes from a past that's broken. He feels like this relationship is broken. He's not so sure what he wants, but he, he's becoming more and more clear. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm at the time. This, this is... <laughs> okay. This is a general. It is not a personal reading. So take it with a grain of salt. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay? This man has needed some time or will need some time to kind of think things through, to get his head straight, to really figure out what's clear to him. And what will become clear, although it'll take time, but what will become clear is that he may need to move in silence. Either he needs to move in silence to get you back if the two of you are, are no longer. And that's that's his his thing. Like, listen, I'm, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to come back to you. Just give me some time. Yeah, that's him coming back. I was going to say something. I was like, this man is going to cheat. He's going to cheat in, in silence. But he's been doing that. He's been doing that. So he's coming back. And he's going to give he's going to give of himself. And the two of you. <laughs> And he's going to give it himself and the two of you are going to be better again maybe for a good three I'm getting three to up to five months you'll be good for a while Aquarius ladies y'all been going through it hold on oh. he yeah. <laughs> hold on y'all I'm sorry I know I need to be showing y'all some cards. <laughs> Are y'all dealing with a fucking Gemini? Because <laughs> when I tell you this gave me Gemini, this in, out, up, down, back, get go, please, get, listen. Okay. 
he's coming back so you guys will have a honeymoon stage and it it could last for like a few months a few weeks a few months that sort of thing it can definitely last but boy is he gonna get an itch you'll know the itch because he starts to get offended a little too much like irritable tired moody <laughs> that's listen when he starts acting like that the fucking clock is ticking he's turning into this okay he's gonna listen to me let me show y'all he's gonna come back and he's gonna turn into this okay and then when that itch starts to want to scratch he's gonna turn into this <laughs> then he's gonna give you that i'm trying to tell you you're gonna be looking around trying to figure out where you at <laughs> so I don't know, guys, Aquarius, um, especially the Aquarius ladies. Um, he's coming back. And for some of you that's married, he, I don't see a divorce. I don't see a divorce. If, even if there is a divorce or separation, the two of you will can still kind of be seeing, seeing each other behind the scenes. But the person that I'm talking about, um, the couple I'm speaking of, he's coming back. He may not stay. I don't see a staying, but I don't see a leaving forever either. He'll just come back. He'll leave a while. Then he'll come back again. He'll leave. That's everything. That's what I'm saying. That's what I have for Aquarius. Now let's look at Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, what does this woman want to tell Pisces men? She loves you. It it could have been love at first sight, um, but she loves you. She cares a lot about you, or she's chasing after somebody else. She <laughs> she has feelings for something like that the two of you are at a crossroads you guys are in a broken place and she's on guard she doesn't really trust the situation trust you she's holding back or she feels like you're holding back ever since she's been holding back if she has she's been in a better headspace and so now she's kind of protecting that space i'm sorry guys i know I'm, I'm all the way back here but she's either this person is hot horny um she may feel like the t situation between the two of you are toxic. She does want some sex. So even though she doesn't necessarily trust this or trust you, she, you know, she may, it may be hard to let you go, but it's not impossible because I do see this woman changing. Ooh. Okay. She wants to say a lot. <laughs> Okay, so if this woman comes back into your life, and it looks like for some of you, this could have been like, um, if she gets pregnant, she may not go full term with the pregnancy, that sort of thing. Be careful. You could be attracting uh, someone that may have hygiene problems, or this can even be um, a STD, like, you know, that type of thing, feminine issues, something like that. I'm just, just letting you know. Anyway, um, this woman, and she's coming up strong as a Libra or a fire sign but she could be any sign but this woman if she does swing back around and communicate with you let you back in that sort of thing it is going to be like we're putting down some strong rules and regulations um that we have to adhere to if we're going to make this grow and make this work so it's that type of thing like and it's still going to take upwards of three years for her to fully trust you if you have been the person that's created problems and two of you are going through a divorce separation or a break up <clears throat> You could be served at work. This is a. You could be served at work. Hold on, guys. I see it coming back together again. Um, like I said, getting back on track fully um, will take time. The two of you can be better and can get better. You will be better off starting as friends. If you start to be like more friends with each other, that sort of thing. Um, but you may men start to worry about what she's doing, what she's up to, because you're not used to that. You want an all or nothing type thing. You don't want her to treat you like, oh, we could just be friends because then he'll feel like you're, you're going to feel like, well, what the hell are you up to? Why do we just have to be friends? That's what <laughs> So, um, definitely could come back together. Definitely can work things out um, here. I definitely see that. But starting slow, wherever you are in your relationship, I don't care even if you're married, it's something about needing to start slow. Don't just jump in, back in and think, okay, we're right back. No, no, no. no. And like I said, if this is a marriage and you've been together for a long time, maybe date, maybe live apart and just date and try to court again in some kind of way where you can restore what you've had together. Let's look at ladies. What does he want to say? Um, 
Okay, hold on, guys. You hurt him. He's hurt. He's hurt, hurt. Mm-hmm. And he's been trying to either get revenge. <laughs> Looks like he's trying to get revenge. He cares about you. And he wants to come back. He, it's just like, kind of like the Sagittarius reading I was saying. That um, you have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of control and a, a lot of hold on this man. But this is a man that also um, has gone through it. He can't necessarily um, get he can't get his head out of the situation and even if he does he'll find himself going right back to thinking about what has happened so he's never left mentally he's never fully left this and i do feel that you didn't really acknowledge your power your control your influence you know over him that sort of thing he does hold back but he's still pissed so this once again i'm pulling for somebody that the two of you may not be on the best terms right now You keep walking away. You kept leaving, kept coming back, leaving. So that was his challenge with you. You keep leaving or want to break a situation up. Um, and to some extent, this man wanted this and he could have seen something. So he may have waited around to see. Some of you, he left, you left. Some of you ladies left because he could have already been attached and committed, that sort of thing. be careful Pisces ladies <laughs> excuse me I would be careful Pisces ladies because I get a man who really is in it for himself um he's very egotistical to some extent he's kind of a complex type of guy I would say um something about him is a little bit complex here hmm He may be the type of person that's used to getting what he wants whenever he wants it. Um, he may be doing well enough for himself or something could be going on in his life where it's like, you know, I, I do whatever I want to do. I get whatever I want. That sort of thing. Um, so nurturing a relationship may not be something that he feels he needs to do. He has to do. He's required to do something like that. So like, I don't care if there's kids involved, whatever. I just think that some of you Pisces ladies need to be careful. If you can relate to what I've said, you need to kind of be a little conscious about just delving into this thinking that, well, we're back on track. And yet, no, because I get someone who can run hot and cold. And as soon as you two are back on track, he may run cold again. You can get pregnant by him, so be careful. And I see a lot of women, <clears throat> a lot, a lot. Every damn woman, yeah, well, every woman except the one that needs to be in his damn deck, <laughs> needs to be out the deck, which is the queen of swords. Every other woman came out the deck. So this is a man that, he's a hot one. So be careful, Pisces ladies. I mean, he gets around quite a bit. That's what I have for you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. Check me back on the next one. Take care, guys.